viewers who don't know who you are, which would be crazy, explain who you are and what you do. My name is Lisa Cave and I'm Editor-in-Chief of Heat Magazine. Okay. Now, we have loads of questions about careers and lives and getting into the fashion and journalism industry. What would be your number one piece of advice for people who want to get into the fashion industry? Number one piece of advice for wanting to get into the fashion industry is just be really determined and never give up. Um, sounds a bit cliche, but I think it's such a tough industry because a lot of people want to get into it, and the people that will get into it are the ones that just carry on and on and really believe in themselves. And I think it's a really good um, good thing to go and get work experience in as many places as you can on any magazines that have any kind of fashion element. Not necessarily aiming for the really high-end fashion magazines because they're going to be the most competitive. So maybe starting off with some kind of some smaller fashion brands or magazines because then you're going to get more of a chance to do stuff and then you'll work your way up. Whereas if you aim really hard, if you're going to aim vogue, you're never going to get your foot in the door straight away. So you need to kind of prove yourself and work your way up. Was there any moment in your career where you thought, I've made it? I've been, I feel really lucky in my career. Um, you know, I've got a great job that I really enjoy and it's really varied, it's fun, but I have worked very hard. Um, it's, I don't think I ever sat there and thought I've got this grand plan to be editor of Heat magazine. I, I loved it at Heat and when I started there I was freelancing, then I was deputy news editor and the opportunities came along for me really just by me keeping my head down and having a can-do attitude and not being afraid to, to kind of go and interview celebrities and be quite cheeky and just being very keen and enthusiastic. And I think if you're keen, enthusiastic and hardworking, then somebody notices what you do and then they want you to go further. Yeah. Who is the best person you've had the pleasure of meeting? Oh, I've met some very interesting people in my job. Some of the best people are actually not necessarily the most famous, but I mean, Ant and Deck are lovely because they are exactly as you see them on telly, and not every celebrity is like that. They're just really down to earth, nothing's changed them. They've got a lot of money and a lot of fame, but they're, they are who, who you think they're going to be. There are some other people that I've met who are a bit stroppy. Hugh Grant was a little bit stroppy. Um, Britney Spears was just a little bit vacant, but you know, I think. That was back in the day when she was kind of pushed from pillar to post and probably just didn't even have a chance to think about what she wanted to do. I've had some awkward encounters when I've interviewed people before. Um, but sometimes the most awkward interviews, when they're uncomfortable for you to be at, are the best ones to write and the best ones for people to read because you're putting yourself in the reader's position. Okay, and finally, what is your favourite charity that you've had the privilege of working with? I think as far as charities go, I mean, every charity is, has got something valuable to it. But I think breast cancer charities are, are probably the things closest to my heart. I can't, my cousin's got breast cancer. I know a lot of people who've kind of lived through it and, you know, yeah. been able to fight their way through it. And I think that's something that touches a lot of people's lives, unfortunately. So probably breast cancer. Okay, that's great. Thanks. Okay. Ooh, good timing. <laughs> Are you here for the whole show then?